China is stockpiling of ASML chip-making machines ahead sanction deadline. Hello and welcome to another episode of China Record. You might be thinking that the tech tussle between the US and China has cooled down a bit, right? Well, not exactly. There's a whole bunch of new sanctions lined up to kick in by the end of 2023. The US seems to have a knack for finding ways to put a damper on China's semiconductor industry. At this point, all China can do is hoard as many chip-making machines as they can, especially the ones that can crank out new chips. If they don't, once the sanctions hit, they won't be able to bring in any more of these machines. And let me tell you, these machines are super important for China's semiconductor industry. Once that happens, China might pump more money into making their own top-notch chip-making machines. Who knows, they might even take a leaf out of the book of Western countries' TV machines. <laughs> ASML, chip machine maker. ASML, this Dutch company that's all about making super advanced lithography systems, has said they can keep their promises to their Chinese customers and get everything done before the year is out. That's what Bloomberg is saying, anyway. And they're sticking to their guns even though the Dutch government decided to shake things up on September 1st with new rules about exporting chip manufacturing equipment. Now, any Dutch companies that want to send certain fancy semiconductor-related stuff outside the EU have to get an export license from Dutch customs first. But here's the kicker. An ASML spokesperson said they won't be able to get these licenses to send their products to China in 2024. Yes, Mel, the Netherlands-based producer of the world's most advanced lithography systems, chip-making equipment, is the only company that can still ship its products to China. However, these chip-making machines are not capable of producing chips smaller than 7 nanometers. Only the EV machine can produce high-end chips, and ASML is the only company that can produce this machine, which is priced around $200 million. Nevertheless, China is able to import DUV machines from ASML. The Netherlands and Japan have joined the US in controlling exports of certain chip-making tools to China, impacting China's semiconductor industry. The restrictions cover systems capable of making chips at the 5 nanometer process or more advanced, including ASML's latest twins and system. ASML has a near monopoly on advanced lithography systems used by leading foundries such as Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Co. TSMC, Samsung Electronics, and Intel. Despite China's efforts to use more locally produced tools, 85% of machines come from the US, Netherlands, and Japan. Last year, Around the third quarter, ASML rolled out this cool new system called the 2000 IDUV. This bad boy is all about making chips smaller than 3 nanometers. Not only that, but it's also got a serious boost in overlay performance. And guess what? It can churn out 295 wafers every hour. All of this info came straight from ASML's annual report that they put out in February. Since 2019, ASML has been on the no-sell list for their EUV lithography machines to China, but they found a loophole and were able to keep selling their DUV systems over there. Well, that was until this year when the US started turning up the heat. Order cut down. However, starting from 2024, ASML will discontinue the export of DUV equipment to China since it is unlikely that new licenses will be approved by the Dutch government beyond the end of this year. This could have a far-reaching impact on China's domestic semiconductor industry chain. ESML, the top dog in making lithography systems, has decided to stop shipping DUV equipment to China from 2024. This is a big deal for China's homegrown semiconductor industry. Without these top-notch tools from ASML, China's semiconductor industry might hit a speed bump in its development. It's like trying to bake a cake without a mixer. You can do it, but it's going to be a lot harder and take longer. This could mean that China will have to rely more on importing semiconductors. It's like if you can't bake your own cake, you gotta buy it from the store, right? But this could shake up the global supply chain too. On the flip side, this might just be the push China needs to step up their game in developing their own advanced semiconductor manufacturing capabilities. It's like, if you can't buy a mixer, maybe you invent a new way to mix your cake batter. So, let's wait and see how this plays out. Yes, Mel, the world's leading manufacturer of lithography systems, has been a significant supplier of DUV machines to China. The demand for these machines in China has been substantial, as evidenced by the sales data. In 2021 alone, 
ASML sales of DUV systems to mainland China-based entities amounted to a whopping 2.7 billion euros, 2.8 billion US dollars, which accounted for 14.7% of ASML's total net sales. This suggests that a significant number of DUV machines were purchased by China. The importance of DUV machines in the semiconductor industry cannot be overstated. These machines are crucial for the production of advanced semiconductors, and their demand has been at a record high. The DUV business outlook has significantly improved, driven by strong markets, increased process complexity, and installed base growth. Deep ultraviolet DUV lithography machines have played a crucial role in China's semiconductor industry. Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation SMC, one of China's largest and most advanced semiconductor companies, has used ASML's DUV lithography systems to produce 14 nanometers chips for smartphones, including those sold by Honor, the former budget smartphone unit of Huawei Technologies Company. SMIC began volume production of 14 nanometers node chips in the fourth quarter of 2019. Even with the restrictions on EUV sales, Chinese chipmakers have been able to make significant advancements by repurposing older DUV equipment through multi-patterning. A technique also used by global fabrication leaders Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company TSMC, and Samsung. However, the potential addition of immersion DUV lithography machines to the export restriction list could trigger a significant upheaval in China's semiconductor industry. Despite this, Chinese manufacturers are using extra exposure to make up for the lack of extreme ultraviolet EV, technology. Is China making DUV machine? Yes, China is indeed making efforts to develop its own DUV machine. Shanghai Microelectronics Equipment SME, a state-backed firm, is reportedly on track to reveal its first scanner capable of producing chips on a 28 nanometers process technology by the end of 2023. This machine could help China reduce its dependency on foreign wafer fab equipment. In addition, SME is also reportedly full speed ahead to develop its second-generation deep ultraviolet DUV, immersion lithography system, which could produce down to 7 nanometers chips with multiple patterning superscript 3. Furthermore, China is exploring the use of a new extreme ultraviolet EUV, light source and making its own lithography facility. Tsinghua University has made breakthroughs in steady-state micromunching SSMB technology, which can create an EUV light source with a power several times higher than that of ASML's EUV lithography. This could potentially help China bypass the export controls of the United States and the Netherlands. However, it's important to note that developing such advanced technology is a complex and challenging task that may take many years to achieve. Thank you for watching my video on China Record. I hope you found it informative and enjoyable. Your support means a lot to me and encourages me to bring more new episodes. If you liked the video, please don't forget to leave a comment and share it with others. Stay tuned for more exciting content.